Everyone, it is Kenton Ripfist here in the world of Fallout New Vegas, and look at that! I have a beautiful TARDIS in front of me. She is horribly damaged. I'm going to do Fallout New Vegas for the first episode of uh, the Extra Life series. Which, by the way, the Extra Life series is now a thing that I'm going to do on YouTube, which, for the record, is amazing. What Extra Life is, is it's sort of, well, some of you who are looking up Extra Life know, but others... Well, Extra Life is basically uh, the part of CMN that uses video, well, Children's Miracle Network Hospitals is full name, but they're the ones who do video games, YouTube, and Twitch for uh, fundraising for CMN. And I hear a doggy barky barky barky. Doggy doggy barky barky. I've never been on top of the tardy tardy tardis before. This must be where all the textures meet. Or it's probably just the model and the texture sort of looking goofy to me. But anyway. I figured I'd start out with a full fledged Fallout New Vegas playth well, Fallout Who Vegas playthrough anyway. Uh, there is an animated opening after you leave Doc Mitchell's house. Your character sort of freezes in place, like with some scripted scenes. You can turn around, you can like turn 360, but you can't move with WASD like usual. And basically, Future You lands the TARDIS behind you. You turn around, you're talking to Future You. Future You says, Yeah, here's Control This, go back to the scrapyard, find Sexy here. And, uh, yeah. What Future You is telling you, Future You is basically securing the timelines, basically. It's all explained at the end of the mod, and just Bushki. <laughs> I love the barrel physics in this game. And yes, there was a slight Markiplier reference there. I do not. I'm not sorry. But either way, I'm going to go into the TARDIS and hope I'm not stuck in an infinite loading loop again, or else I am going to be pissed. Oh. Oh, if I don't know if you see, but Pete Thrill House there is uh, going on Rocket League. Come on. I hear the background noise for the console room. You're doing the thing where your little loady spinny thing jumps. Oh, if I knew how to edit videos better, I'd put in a just do it. Huzzah! Oh, the phone's ringing already. That's part of another quest. Just walk through. There's a hologram lady. Sometimes it's a lady. Some, well, it's always a lady, actually. Blah, 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 blah. Who? Whoa! What are you? A hologram! I'm just gonna be oblivious. I am a voice interface. I sound like a man, even though I am a woman. My form has been selected from a database of images you m most esteem. Who's that? No one. You're literally just blank face. All blank face. By the way, sorry if the frames are low and skippy. Uh, I do not have good RAM memory or processing. My PC is not even really an entry-level PC. Well, entry-level gaming PC, I should say. It's powerful enough to run Fallout New Vegas on Ultra Graphics, but I turned those down, turned off all my filtering things, and I've done my performance the best I could. So, just a bit of a warning, this might not be the best quality video, but it's something. It helps get things out there for fundraising. Also, I'm sorry you can see a lot of my room back here, but, uh, you know, words. Oh, and seeing as how we're in Eleven's copper console, I'm gonna put on this poorly fitting fez for now. What is this place? This is a Type 40 time travel capsule. She's sexy. TARDIS is an acronym, standing for Time and Relative Dimension in Space. You are currently situated in the TARDIS control room. Console room. Words. Why does it look like a police box, which I have never seen? Because I've been stuck in America after the bombs fell, because it's not really easy to get across the ocean anymore to Britain? This Type 40 capsule has sustained prolonged neglect to a damaged chameleon circuit. The fault may be rectified by hotwiring the fragment links and superseding the binary circuits to a ratio of 1 and 4. Poor Donna. Where did it come from? A TARDIS cap... All TARDIS capsules are grown in the black hole shipyards of Gallifrey. This Type 40 capsule is an outdated model and no longer within warranty. Black holes, shipyards, that must mean another planet! 
Galfrey is situated at 10 0, 11, 0, 0 by 0, 02 from Galactic Zero Center. A police box that can travel in time. The TARDIS is capable of forward, backwards, and sideways motion in the fourth dimension. And it can travel in space. The TARDIS is capable of motion along the 12 known axis of the third dimension. This Type 40 capsule has sustained prolonged neglect to a primary navigation systems. Is anyone else here? Number of life forms detected on board. One. In the presence of authorized control disc 23, this TARDIS relinquishes transfer of ownership to the holder. That's me. Correct! This authorized control disc also initiates guidance protocols. Guidance protocols loaded. System report. All systems nominal. However, a fault has been detected with navigational systems. Advised repairs are made immediately to rectify fault. Do you wish to proceed with my assistance? Now the tutorial you go through and learn how to repair the TARDIS, or you can skip it. After one update, there was an infinite, uh, conversation loop. I couldn't think. I'm going to take this off. This is very uncomfortable and distracting. But there was a loop that caused you to be infinitely stuck in dialogue. And she would act like any other NPC, which she is an NPC wearing a hologram outfit. But, uh, she would, hey, what's up? Goodbye. Hey, what's up? Goodbye. Hey, what's up? Goodbye. Hey, what's up? Goodbye. You know, you'd be going like that back and forth, back and forth forever. So, I don't know if it works now, seeing as I was in the final stable version, but I'm going to skip anyway, because I already know how to do everything, and I don't feel like working with it again. Should you wish to proceed? Advan Should you wish to proceed with advanced capsule reorientation, you will be required to accumulate piloting experience. For further assistance, please refer to the TARDIS index file located within the console scanner. Goodbye! Yeah, here it is. To correct power bugs with- no, wait, this is power bugs. Advanced mode has been deactivated like it was turned on in the first place. Quest completed. On to the future! Yay! Uh, oh yeah, there are cl there's clothing from the thing added. Also, I do have Project Nevada, Project Nevada extra options on with all of the things, which I've rebalanced it sort of in my favor, but... Oh well. Oh wait, you don't want to shoot the phone. Answer. Oh, I just didn't realize that's the that's the best man from the Christmas episode with Donna. Or David Tennant's first episode, I'm not sure. No, that's definitely the Donna episode. Donna's very first episode. Well, guess what? I'm not piloting level five. I can't do this quest as of current. Thank you though. Okay, I'm actually gonna. No, wait, hang on. There's things in each console room you need to sort of grab, and... Well, you can't grab these right now. I'll show you how to get those ladder. Or that one. I don't think there's one in here. Oh, well. They're activatable bookshelves, but you can only use them one day at a time. Which never really made sense to me. But it's the mod author's choice. Also, another thing that was added, which adds some extra stuff up here is Zoannan's unofficial add-on patch, or th whatever. Which comes very much in handy. It restores cut content. Yes, I'm somewhat of a paranoid saver. But it restores con con cut content, not cunt content. But it restores cut content and patches some stuff, adds a few new things of his own, does some retextures and remodeling. That's stuck in the vortex. It'll pro it will probably be solved if I fly in this console, but I'm going to switch to a different one. Which, when you want to switch console rooms, you go to architectural reconfiguration. Blah. And then you go. Then you can select copper, which we're currently in. Coral, which was the 910 theme classic. Oh my God, my insulin pump. I am a type 1 diabetic. Part of that stuff is what uh, CMN hospitals used to help me with. But there's Classic, which was used from part of the Fifth Doctor's life all the way to the Seventh at the end of the original series. Toyota, which is the new... Which was Seven's... Which was Seven's second console and Twelve's current one. Edwardian, which was the console featured in the 1996 movie. 
Glitch, that's the War Doctor's console, Retro, Fourth Doctors, and then Ronnie is pretty sort of ex self it's pretty self explanatory if you've seen the original series. Now, that being said, I'm going to start with can't really fly well in retro, so let's do retro. But see it just sort of bonks you in. And actually each one has sort of little ticks like this one has a scarf you can pick up, which is a wearable item. A lot of the stuff you wouldn't expect to be wearable items are wearable items. But like in these cabinets, like this one, you have Jelly Babies, which actually have their own little picture. I forgot about that. But this isn't to go deeper into the TARDIS. There's actually another room, which if you go in, there's a buildable canine. Dog whistle, conductor, all them scrap electronics and everything. Actually, one thing I missed... It sort of blends in with the console, but it's the motivator unit, and you need it to build K9. On the box. Poor K9. Make repairs? You don't have all the required parts. What am I missing? I forgot to read the thing. Okay, I have the motivator unit. Okay, sensory array. I know where that's at. I know where most of the things are at. I actually know how it wants to get past advanced mode exploit the power. Which I won't show or really tell. Okay, this will just... This is happening in all console rooms. That'll be fixed once I fly. But there, you can go deeper into the TARDIS and look off, look at all the rooms. But for now, I'm going to fly. I completely left the activation box. But when you want to fly random, you do the zigzag plotter, helmet regulator, time-space throttle. And sometimes it takes me a while to find all of these. But that's because I somewhat forget where everything is. But I remember in time. Yeah. Time. But uh, then while you're locking down, your time to a handbrake. Good lord, I am going to have to turn down my effects settings. Yes, that is effects. Which, if the game volume is too loud in general, let me know. Because that would help tremendously, but... Okay, that's still pretty loud. But once you, once you start flying, you start out in autopilot. Okay, there we go. But each thing activates with blue, which they call it a hollow marker. But it activates in a blue glow, and you have to hit each one. If not, the TARDIS takes damage. If you do, you gain piloting experience, which was evidenced by that, and that actually, but in the reverse order. And it also pops up a neat little message about what uh, the controls are going to do. And that was on fast, which I'm actually pretty impressed that I missed one control, but I'm surprised that it wasn't the helmet regulator, which I've had problems with before. But the workshop should be open. I have my science and whatever else I needed a hundred to work with it and use it. I keep licking my lips because I'm having sort of dry lips from a high blood sugar reaction because again, diabetic. No, wait, this is the wrong floor for everything that I'm wanting. I got everything I need. Nothing bad and none. Okay, so I know where I'm at. Also, you can still get trapped by doors. Oh, and if you just fall down these, they'll sort of put you in a slow cushioned fall, like you just saw. But if you jump under one of them, they'll actually pull you up on the next floor. Okay, where the hell am I? It's the control room. Is neither the workshop nor the thingy active? Are none of the rooms active? Okay, well, more uh, more architectural reconfiguration. I do a lot of singing and a lot of voices. I'm very sorry. Okay, yeah, so everything, if you skip the tutorial, is turned off. But the things you're really going to need, unless you turn into a Time Lord, which is a possibility on here, may not be the canon way for a human to turn into Time Lord, and... In fact, that's more than likely not canon. But really, you're just going to need the sick bay, the bedroom, and the two workstations on. And the wardrobe would probably be a nice addition. But it's all monitored, but it's all restrictive of your power, which I have zero. I need to turn something off. Which the master bedroom really isn't that important, but it's nice to have more than anything. But still, I can turn it off. And each room takes five power. Because if I turn that off, I get 5 power. 
which you need the extra five power to do things. Actually, there's a hostile action displacement system, which avoids you doing battles, which I'm going to turn off as soon as I get back. Oh, I hate this level of the TARDIS. This is the lower level of the TARDIS, so sometimes hard to navigate. Luckily, I know the quickest way to just to this. I don't know where anything else is at. But yeah, turning them on activates this. It changes the hallways and such. And one thing that's in most, not all, but most of the rooms is the hypercubes. Have you ever thought what it's like to be one of the little 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 boys? I'll have the first girl. doctor. But, uh, and yes, you will see me spawning a lot of stuff myself. Mainly because getting your resources is somewhat of a grind. Which is kind of the point, but still... It's just nice. We're not going to do that right now. But the way you can grind your way is get a bunch of... Well, the main things are Nuka-Cola, a carrot, and Brahmin meat. You put them in the Extraction Centrifuge, you activate it. And it'll take some time, depending on your level of, I bull, no, it won't tell me, just activate the, nope, nope, I think, yeah, it's biology, I think, no, I don't remember, I don't remember what the skills are based on, I just know it's something, but basically science is one of the base skills in the game, it's dependent on in-game vanilla skills, like half of one and half of another, so there's that, and this is a nice blue ambiance. I forgot about this. Oh, I use my own special technique. Ah, uh, the best Even assault my ever. Eyes open and my mouth shut. But yes, you can build the sonic screwdriver. Which it has a schematic, but you just every time you get a schematic in game, well, not in game, like the vanilla schematics, you just get and you use. But with the Who Vegas, you put into like the workshop and lab scanners. So, yeah, there's that. So, each episode is probably gonna be close to an hour long, which I need to monitor my time a little bit better. But, now that you've seen that, I'm gonna... I won't do the thing where I turn myself into a Time Lord or until level 5, I won't really do much until piloting level 5. But actually, there is one thing I need to build. Because if you're ever out walking in the Mojave... God dang it, why did it take me back here? But if you're ever out walking in the Mojave without the TARDIS, you won't be able to pick up new landing locations, which, when you land the TARDIS and then walk out, they're added. But, the ways... But, part of Zoannan's unofficial add-on slash patch is a little thing you can build which doesn't require a schematic a landing locations mapper and basically what it does is while you're carrying it if it picks up a suitable landing location it'll add it to the little thanks data and then you can sync it in the navcom data banks and you don't have to discover every one with the randomizer so i just need two circuitry two wiring one crystal No, wait. Yeah, this is sort of... This is the refining process, so... I want a telepathic crystal, so I need a Contron crystal. And because my engineering skill is all the way up, it doesn't take long, and it gives me more than just one. Now, I do also believe I need viridi Validium and Trisilicate. I'm gonna make myself some extra here. Oh, Bazoolium. I keep forgetting about that. Give myself a little few extras here. But, uh... I now have one landing location mapper. And it's not very... heavy, I don't think, so... If you need to drop something, I wouldn't really recommend dropping it, as it's not going to give you that much of a difference. I mean, it's not a very important thing. You can always build a new one, or you can always just go back to where you found it if you're pretty close to the TARDIS. 
But I just recommend, like, keeping the one that you've originally built, which... Open the scanner again and check something. Yeah, that fixed it. See, the scanner, right now, is showing space and galaxies, which I love the effects they've done. But... Once I start flying, which... Give me a moment. And when you first start learning to pilot the TARDIS, I would recommend starting on your slowest setting. Then go to easy, then go to medium, and then go to hard, which is fastest. That, because that'll sort of train you where everything is, and it'll train you to react quicker because you're moving up, and sometimes I don't see the things and get them on time. But that's just sort of my mistake. I'm now piloting level 3. I learn quickly! Oh god. It's literally the same thing. And I do have my radio and my music turned off because copyright. I mean, I'm not monetizing these things, but I still feel like it would be a good idea to just shut them off. And, oh, and sometimes your rotor doesn't sync up with the noises, depending on the console. Like, the noise will end, but the rotor will keep going until it ends its animation. That's just the animation length, because it'll repeat the animation, I think, until the TARDIS has, well, landed in its scripting. So, I've got to check the last location, and there's no fast return button. But, actually, I'm going to save, because this has a habit of causing my game to infinitely loop in its loading, which causes me to need to exit OBS and everything. Like, you act like you're signing out, and that closes almost all your EX, EXEs, your .exe files. But there's some that'll be like, oh, it'll close this out, are you sure you want to sign out? Then I can hit cancel and I don't have to do a lot of stuff like wait for Steam to automatically update. But, sort of, sort of teaching you how to pilot and all right now, so, oh, oh, oh no, oh, I think I may have broke the game just a little bit, just a teeny tiny bit. I'm going to go back into the TARDIS, and I'm going to end this episode here, actually. Very short one. But uh, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. And be sure to check out the extra link. E extra link. Well, it sort of is an extra link because this is part of a series, but that I'm going to do yearly. But don't forget to click the link down below for extra life and donate something. Which, by the way, if you don't know how the donation system works, a little bit of heads up. You're going to see, I think, about five, maybe ten different predetermined amounts, like five up to one hundred. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. No, no. Yeah, five, ten, twenty, fifty, a hundred, I think. But there's also going to be another option to insert your own amount. I'm very tired. It is very much nighttime, but, uh, yeah, that is it for this episode. Don't forget to leave a like, maybe favorite the video, and please subscribe to my channel if I've done an entertaining job. And uh, I will see you all in episode two. Bye bye